like anti-Vietnam War, right. anti-establishments. So it's anti-Vietnam, anti-military. It's just, it's just it, unfortunately, nuclear, again, bad timing nuclear. You're always totally. showing up at the party at the wrong time, <laughs> the wrong place. And so you screwed it up in 1938 Germany. And now you you have your first accident in the, in the 70s. By the way, it's not... Post, it's post-Vietnam, though. Yes, but... but It's post-Vietnam, but I understand. The sentiment the is still The sentiment, the vibe, it. right? Like that, that whole generational vibe. Not only was it during this time, the accident happened 12 days after the premiere of The China Syndrome, which is a thriller about a nuclear reactor meltdown. <laughs> oh, no. Featuring Jane Fonda. Oh, God. Can you believe it? It's By like, the it's, way... It's like, it's like having a major shark attack 10 days after the movie Jaws comes out. Yes. Literally. Like no one's getting in the... As if that movie didn't freak everybody out enough. Yes. Got it. Exactly. Okay. So it, now let's flash forward to Chernobyl. So then you flash forward to Chernobyl. So obviously, by the way, there it's like, okay, nuclear is too dangerous, even though nobody died, right, from okay. this accident. So, so politics, bad timing with movies, Hollywood, yeah, close association with military, keep yeah. going. So then we move to Chernobyl, right. which was a completely different accident. This is a completely different reactor design. This was a design that didn't have what we call a containment dome, which is a big concrete and steel house that stays over the reactor so in case there is an accident radiation doesn't go into the environment 